Welcome to the Crystal Maze. Go, go, go! Tonight, I'll be guiding one ordinary family through four immersive zones playing extraordinary challenges. If they succeed, they'll win a crystal worth five seconds in that dome. And the more seconds they have, the better their chances of winning our $25,000 grand prize. Hello. Uh, yes, uh, I'm holding for the Maze Master. <laughs> Maze Master's here. I'm doing great, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much, Adam. Let's talk about the Crystal Maze. Is this a game show from the future? <laughs> it is not quite from the future. This show is from the UK, actually. This is a classic show from England. Uh, it's a massive classic over there. Nickelodeon is bringing it to the US for the first time, and I am thrilled to serve as the Maze Master. There's so many different parts of the Crystal Maze. One was the futuristic zone. It looks like a set right out of Alien. Oh yeah, the set design for the Crystal Maze is incredible. We've got these incredible environments and the futuristic zone is just one of them. We also have the industrial zone, the Aztec zone, the Eastern zone, uh, and each one of these zones is packed with incredible devious challenges. We've got physical games, mental games. They're, all, they're a lot like escape rooms. The family member is locked inside and they only have a limited amount of time to figure out what they have to do and to complete it in order to win a crystal. So on the show you have crystals, then you have the mega crystals. Tell me about them. <laughs> well, so each crystal buys the family five seconds in the crystal dome at the end of the show, and the more time they have there, the better their chances of winning our $25,000 grand prize. The mega crystal is a special crystal they can opt to use for any particular game that doubles the value of that game, but they can only use it once, so it's a little bit of a risk versus reward. Do they wish to use it on that particular challenge? Now, I've seen Mad Max Thunderdome, and your show has a Thunderdome. Are they any alike? <laughs> it's a lot like that. I mean, it's an intense environment. We put them in there. They've got between five and sometimes 40 seconds to complete, uh, to grab as many gold and silver tokens as they can. Time goes very, very fast. Um, every gold token wins them money. Every silver token deducts money. So it's uh, a very intense environment. But um, we've got some big winners on the show this year. Of course, nobody goes home empty handed. One thing I noticed about this game show, there was no studio audience, which is really unusual. No, there isn't. That's because the Crystal Maze isn't just a show, it's a place. It's a literal maze that we are traveling through as a group with cameras following us. So there honestly is nowhere to fit the audience because this, the, the space is so elaborate and because we travel deeper into the maze as the show goes on. And in the Crystal Maze, you allow family members to help each other with the challenges. Oh yeah, communication is key for this because sometimes one family member is in the room but they can't see the whole puzzle from their vantage point and so the other family members need to watch and shout instructions and that's where the rubber really hits the road because you really see which of these families are able to communicate as a group and if they can't communicate they don't stand a very good chance of winning but the ones who are able to communicate clearly really do win so it's really good to watch with kids because you can talk about oh this is why communication is so important. Now, Adam, I'm a big fan of Adam Ruins Everything. Any new episodes coming along? Uh, well, you can check out episodes on Netflix. We have new ones hitting Netflix pretty soon. They're rotating out which episodes are on there. And we got episodes airing on True TV. Adam, congratulations on the Crystal Maze on Nickelodeon. And we have a chance. Come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. Oh, I'd absolutely love to. Uh, you know, I'm a stand-up comic, so hopefully I'll swing back through Vegas again very soon. Until then, I hope folks check out the Crystal Maze, 7 p.m. on Friday on Nickelodeon. Well, that sums up everything. And for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.